I'm looking for some festive flavors to treat my guests for this holiday season. Let's make some pumpkin pie fudge. This fudge has a ginger snap crust. So to begin, I just went out and bought some ginger snaps already pre-made in a box. Went ahead, put them in my blender, mixed them up. So pour this right on into your bowl, or I have actually an eight by eight um, cookie tray, and I lined it with some wax paper because we're gonna lift it out later. Pour some sugar in there. Just mix up those ingredients. And to bind our crust, I have some melted butter. Pour it in. All right, now we just use our fingers and smush that crust down. All right, so now let's just pop this in the oven at 375 degrees for about four to five minutes. Our ginger crust is done. Oh, it smells so good. So now I just want to put this off to the side so it can cool off completely because now I'm starting the fudge part, our pumpkin fudge. Super easy, I have a saucepan. So first what you'll need is sugar. Next, evaporated milk. Pumpkin pie spice. Pumpkin puree. And light white corn syrup. Butter. So now I'm gonna move over to my burners on a medium high heat. I'm gonna place this over there and use my candy thermometer. I'm looking for a temperature of 234 degrees, which is softball stage. All right, so waiting for this to hit softball stage, 234 degrees. Um, while this is going, you should probably have prepped your marshmallow cream, your white chocolate chips, and your vanilla because we're immediately pouring that in right when it hits softball stage. It's really hot, so be careful. But now I'm going to be adding my white chocolate chips. Ooh. Marshmallow cream. Oh, yeah. Dump in that whole bucket. Last ingredient, vanilla. So you can see all those little white chocolate chips are starting to melt. It looks really good. It smells delicious. And now we just need to pour it right on top of our baked cookies. Find some room in your fridge. See you in the morning. Yum, 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 yum. Ooh, fudge! Let's cut you up. Yum.
Wow, let's talk about that crust here for a minute. The ginger snaps and the sugar, with the butter combined, so good. Our fudge is nice, it's nice and soft. Ooh, and the flavor of that pumpkin makes it feel like the holidays, which we're trying to achieve. And I recommend definitely making these. These are gonna be of my top 10 probably that I have ever made. They're really good. Um, I even made some cute little bags. Where are they? Yeah, here's the bag. And um, just filled it up with our fudge here. Delicious fudge. Gonna give it to a friend or take it to a dinner party or whatnot. Thanks guys so much for watching. Please like and favorite and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time for the next recipe we're gonna make. Bye. Cake talk, cake talk. Okay guys, it's been two weeks since I did the last cake talk and I didn't forget about you, I promise. Right here I've got last week's cake talk comments and I asked you who scares you when you are trick-or-treating. Of course, mine are clowns. How creepy is that? Some of you guys were mean in your comments, so. Larry T. Gross says, scare of clowns for Christmas. I will send you the first season of Bonzo. Mean. Ellie Guadalupe said, clown costumes. Um, Felice Furia said, bloody Mary. Yahia Rosales says, Ronald McDonald. And I couldn't go on because they were scary and lots of clown comments. So thank you for that. So this week's question, leave me a comment on Thanksgiving's coming and um, are you going anywhere for Thanksgiving? Are you going to see your grandparents? Are you going to your parents' house? Going to a friend's house? Leave me your comments. Can't wait to read them. And one quick little update. I would love, 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 love your help. I need your uh, help by voting for me. I happen to be nominated uh, for a Tasty Award in the category of Best Home Chef in a Web Series. So please follow the link below. It's right down there. Click it. Go to the very bottom of the page. It's about two thirds down. And you'll see my category, Best home chef in a series and please vote for me and our lovely lady cakes thank you guys so much and i'll see you next time for the next cake talk and lovely lady cakes bye